I want to point out some of the similarities that the 49ers share with the Commanders. Or the Commanders share with the 49ers. And let's start by the defensive side of the ball. In recent drafts, the 49ers and the Washington Commanders, they selected defensive linemen. We know the 49ers, they select DeForest Buckner, Armstead, um, Solomon Thomas, Nick Bosa, Javon Kinlo, and now in the, in the previous round, they select Drake Jackson in the second round. Well, the Washington Commanders, they select Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne, Montez Sweat, Chase Young, and this previous draft, in the second round, they select Fidarius Mathis. So you have two teams that they heavily invested in the defensive side of the ball. And probably the, in the defensive side of the ball, all the similarities, they end there. On the offensive side of the ball, you have a wide receiver, um, McLaurin. You can argue that is our Brandon Ajuk. Then you have Curtis Samuel in the Washington Commanders that is a similar player than Debo Samuel. Now, probably in, in the Washington Commanders, they have the advantage with McLaurin over Brandon Ajuk. Nonetheless, Brandon Ajuk, I think that he's going to be way much better. And so far, he's just scratching the surface of how good he can be. Curtis Samuel, he's a hell of a player. He also can run the ball. He is a thick, stubby wide receiver as it is Debo Samuel. Now, we clearly, we have the advantage with Debo Samuel. Now, the running backs, they have Brian Robinson. Then you can compare it with Elijah Mitchell. And they have Antonio Gibson. Antonio Gibson was drafted not only as a running back, but also as a wide receiver. And you can compare that to Christian McCaffrey. He is one of the best running backs catching the ball. So you might end up the similarities there on the offense side, offensive side of the ball. But there is one more that I want to point it out, which is not similar, but... What if, what if, just what if, if Tyler Henneke was the quarterback for the 49ers and Jimmy Garoppolo were the quarterback for the Washington Commanders? Where the, where the 49ers that will be right now with Tyler Henneke? Is it Tyler Henneke a better quarterback than Jimmy Garoppolo? You can say that they are similars, except that the fact that Tyler Henneke, it is way much mobile. He can run the ball. And he's not a slouch by any means. Nonetheless, the Washington Commanders, season after season, they are trying to replace him. It might sound similar to the situation with Jimmy Garoppolo and how people we are calling for a replacement for Jimmy Garoppolo. And guess what? Both of these quarterbacks, this season, they are playing. And not only that, probably is, is their best season so far. The Washington Commanders, 5-5 five, five team. The 49ers, 5-4. Five, five Similar record. Probably you cannot make a comparison between the coaches. Ron Rivera being a defensive mind coach and Kyle Shanahan being an offensive mind coach. Nonetheless, there is a comparison to, to be made between these two coaches. And at least in my perspective, is that they are OGs. They, are, they have an OG mentality. This is not, um, they, they are an, 
known nonsense coaches, right? So that might be a comparison between the coaches. But again, talking about the quarterbacks in Jimmy Garoppolo and Tyler Henneke, we know the history with Tyler Henneke. They draft, their, they draft uh, Dwayne Haskins. By the way, such a tragic history. We know what happened. Now they trade for Carson Wentz. That, it might be one of the quarterbacks that I won't pick, not even in self-defense, to be honest. Comes back as a starter for the Washington, Washington Commanders, and he's been playing good. In the case of Jimmy Garoppolo, everybody was thinking, when we are going to replace Jimmy Garoppolo, he's just a manager. He he doesn't has this um, clutch player to win the games, come back in, in the games and give us that edge at the quarterback that such a good team as the 49ers they should have. And all the rumors season after season they were coming, trading for Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady. Finally, the 49ers, they draft Trey Lance. In the first season as a rookie, Trey Lance, he was the backup to Jimmy Garoppolo. Many people thought, including me, that this season, Jimmy Garoppolo was long gone. It won't be in the 49ers team. And guess what? Trey Lance gets hurt, and Jimmy Garoppolo, it is having one of the best seasons so far. Now, that doesn't mean that Jimmy Garoppolo give us that edge at the quarterback position, because we all know that that is not the reality. We know all the limitations, all the problems that comes when having a quarterback like Jimmy Garoppolo. And to say the least, every single team in the league, they want to have the next Aaron Rodgers, the next Josh Allen, the next Tom Brady. That is not a secret. But again, what if the 49ers, they will be better with Tyler Henneke that with Jimmy Garoppolo, is Tyler Henneke a better quarterback than Jimmy Garoppolo? How Tyler Henneke it will be way much better with Kyle Shanahan than Jimmy Garoppolo? There is so many questions. And let's have into consideration that Tyler Henneke, well, the record compared to Jimmy Garoppolo, they're not even close. But also Tyler Hennigy, they didn't have the team that the 49 that the Jimmy Garoppolo have with the 49ers. The personnel, the coach, all the players around him. Tyler Hennigy, he's never been in the playoffs. He's never been in an NFC championship, neither a Super Bowl. Jimmy does. But again just as a mere conversation, how these teams are similar to each other, similar record, at least this season, and how these two quarterbacks, they are always being criticized in season after season, the rumors of being benched or just replaced is always linger in their backs. Let me know what you think if Tyler Henneke or the 49ers they will be better together than with Jimmy Garoppolo. Comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And like always, see you in the next one.